You sure you're at the right party? This is a celebration for the Saints, is it not? Business with Marshall is less lucrative than it used to be. I was hoping your bosses would be interested in a new partnership. I'd knock if I were you. Hello? It's Antonio Espina. <clears throat> Look, I, I know that we don't have the best history, but I was thinking, hoping, really, that we could work something out. Antonio! Glad you came to your senses. Hey, I'm kind of having a party right now, but we'll talk business later. We've got a party going on, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteras, fuck the Idols, fuck Marshall. The Saints are here to stay, baby! So, if you know how to shoot a gun, or if you're broke and want to learn how, swing by the church. We'll be waiting for you. Hello, and welcome to Marshall Defense Industries. You know it wasn't easy getting here. Your journey began with one of the most unforgiving job interviews we could devise. But you did more than just survive a few live fire exercises. You excelled, and in doing so, proved that you were Marshall material. But don't take my word for it. Hear it from the man himself. Hello, I'm Atticus Marshall. And I wanted to personally welcome you to the Marshall family. Here at MDI, we don't just make a profit. We make the world a better place. So how do we do that? With a little TLC. Technologically advanced weapons, loose morals, and a culture of conflict. Now let's take a step through each of those letters. Why are you watching that now? It's the orientation video. I know what it is. Why are you watching it now? 
Well, I mean, we're about to be shot at, so I figured it couldn't hurt to brush up on our healthcare package. If you aren't paying attention to the briefing, I don't think you'll live long enough for your copay to matter. So I should be reviewing the life insurance policy. You know, our job interview has a 5% mortality rate. Statistically, the odds were low that you would die before we hired you, but I allowed myself to be an optimist. Your parents should have treated you better. Yours should have treated you worse. All right, ladies and gentlemen, contrary to your colleague's demeanor, this is no laughing matter. The Nawali already took out one team that was sent to bring him in, and I want as many of us going home as possible. So stick to the plan, work together, and let's grab that son of a bitch and send him to the frontier. Let's get paid. Alpha team, go. First team, don't fuck. Newbie, catch up. Right, let's kick some pony shit. Turrets, take cover. That was <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is my first fucking day! Shit. Anybody left? Me, I think. Fingers. We have to rendezvous with Bravo team or we're dead. Keep pushing forward, I'll meet you there. Copy that. Welcome to the day of Ron. Reject the new Wally! <laughs> Shit. That helps. Hey, you! We need to find... Fuck! Better hustle, newbie. The Bravo team is ready to move in. I'm not exactly pausing for tea time here. Marshal scum! I'm fighting. Still alive? You sound like you lost the pool. Fall in. We'll use this APC for cover. A rolling shield. Nice. Now I'm delighted you approve. Bailey, make a hole. Roger that. Now let's go. Through the breach. Go, go, go. Ah! Ah! Keep it up, team. Let them have it. Yeah. You lot fucked with the wrong multinational private military corporation. Hey, this may be a weird time to ask, but do we get hazard pay? You get a performance bonus for outstanding work, if you survive to collect it. Right home. Just trying to understand the pay structure. Bailey, hold up. Marshal, clear the field. Yes, ma'am. Whoa, take the turret! I got it! I'm good with these. Now that's not- You are damn lucky we don't have time to argue. Uh. Yeah. Right uh. See? Told you I was good with these. Just shut up and shoot. Uh. 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 Ah. Uh. Chopper, take it out before it cuts us down. Uh. Not so funny when you're taking fire, eh? Driver's hit! Bailey, you alright? Bailey! Bailey, get your foot off the gas! What? Oh, 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 shit! Gwen! Gwen, can you hear me? Anybody? Bollocks! Either they're all dead or there's no signal. I'd best push on and find the Nawali myself. Got any last words? Ugh, the Nawali wants them all dead! The things we do for rent. Intruder. At least I don't have to wear a suit.
Ooh. How did Marshall get this far? Finally. End of the time. Gwen. Hello, do you read me? Noobie, you're still alive? Yeah, I hear that a lot. Wally's holed up in the saloon up ahead. Rendezvous with the rest of us and we can box him in. In a minute. Gonna clear out some goons first. I gave you an order. It's on my way. Besides, we don't want them coming up behind us later. Fine. But next time I give an order, the only words I want to hear are yes and ma'am. Got that? Uh, yes ma'am. Take over! Feels good to make an honest living. Bit of C4 should take out that barricade. Ha! Couldn't do that at my last job. Glad you could join us. Let's move. We gotta keep the Nawali hold up until Charlie team arrives. Newbie, once we hit the saloon, you flank left while the rest of us hold the center. Flank? But I can... Yes, ma'am. Saloon's right around this bend. Get ready and remember the plan. All right, team. Let's take it. See? I'm flanking left, as ordered. Where's Charlie Team? We're being overwhelmed! Hold fast! We go down, we go down fighting. Oh, come on! It's my first fucking day! Black soldiers, Charlie Team is here. Sit back and let us wrap this up. Nice timing, gang. Perimeter secure. Yes, that's probably due to my flanking. Uh-huh. Now get in there and flush that son of a bitch out. What does it take for a man to be able to enjoy a quiet drink these days? Mr. Nawali, you're coming with me. You really think you have what it takes to bring me in? I mean... yeah. Hey! Where are you fucking going? I said you're coming with me! Perhaps I don't respect your authority. Then respect this. You set one foot on those stairs. Holy shit! No, you goddamn don't! Stand down, Wally! There's nowhere to hide! You're surrounded! Make it easy on yourself! Oh! What the? I can't find him! Never mind! We've got the bastard bottled up with nowhere to run. We know he's in the saloon. He can't stay in there forever. What the fuck? Thanks for the ride. I'll see you around. We need air support, now! Stand down! We don't got time for hero bullshit! Don't worry, I got this.
Gwen, we've got a problem. Hang on! The cavalry's coming! Come out with your hands up! <laughs> Not today. Oh, fuck! guys Damn right I do. You're too predictable. Am I? Tried. I'll give you that. Get your hands in the air! I caught him! Well, you didn't die, all in all. Not a bad start. Jesus Christ! You're not gonna last. Your pet talks need some work. This is for you. Performance bonus. <laughs> is this a joke? You, uh, you ribbing the rookie? What were you expecting? There's supposed to be a bonus based on exceptional performance. That's right. And if you had performed exceptionally, you would have seen a bonus. Oh, come on. Can you really look me in the eyes and say I didn't do well? I can look you in the eyes and say you didn't do what you were told. I saw a better way and I took it. And if you were in charge, it would have been an inspired decision. But you're not. I am. This is a warning. Fall in line or find a new job. Bollocks. Vanga, bother, and bloody sodding bollocks. Hey, it's 
Captain, I'm baking up a slamming congratulatory brunch for when you get home to celebrate your first day on the job. It's gonna be dope. Oh, and it's official. I'm gonna be spinning at that idols party I told you about, so hope you can come. DTYL. Hey there, it's Nina. So excited about your new gig. I thought you'd want to know. I, I heard back from the museum. Uh, they, they went with someone else for the junior art curator job, so... Looks like I'm still stuck with Los Panteros. Anyway, glad one of us had a good day at least. See you soon. Hey, it's Eli. Congrats on your first day as part of the workforce. Speaking of which, um, when you asked to borrow my copy of Make Your Own Boss, I assumed it was because you wanted to read it, not to level out for the coffee table. So let's talk about that when you get back. Can't wait to hear about all the HR forms I'm sure you had to sign. I checked for keys and started to stay. What do you know, my wallet I forget. Yo, it's a brown wallet, have top smokers, have my Jimmy. Everything smells amazing, Kev. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey, man, if you want a $300 waffle maker, you can buy it with the exposure the idols pay you in. Don't expect us to chip in. I've told you before, the idols are trying to build a post-capitalist society where money is not a concept. Yeah? Then why don't you go run off and join the commune? I'm into showering. Are you going to help me get the waffle maker or not? As an investor, I don't like wasting money. You're wearing a fucking bow tie. <sighs> okay, I will throw in 20 bucks for a waffle maker. Nina? Um, good for 10? Who helped you move your forged paintings last month? Fine, 15. W what sort of waffle maker can I get for 35 bucks? Uh, presumably one that makes fucking waffles. Hey! <laughs> hey! The wave slave is back! How was your first day? Were the other mercenaries nice to you? You know, as far as hired killers go, I'd give him a 7. You look like you could use a mugmosa. Thanks, Eli. Seriously, how was the job? Eh, it's the murder business. The fundamentals don't change, just the uniform. I can tell you love it. <laughs> okay, I don't have to love it. I have to pay my student loans. Phew, <sighs> I'm in. So I'm guessing that means the pay's good. Ugh, it's supposed to be. Got stiffed on my bonus today. Dude, what the fuck? Oh, I played a little fast and loose on the job and, uh, well, my CO wasn't a fan. You gotta be kidding me. Swear to God, this lady walked right off the set of an 80s action movie. I was half expecting her to call me Rook and threaten to take my badge. Are we gonna make rent? We'll make rent. We just gotta be a little more creative. Last time we got creative, I got stabbed three times. Hey, it would have been four times if Nina and I hadn't shown up. It would have been zero times if you were on time. This is true. Look, this is really not a big deal. We just knock off a payday loan place. No one gives a shit if people rob those bastards. You have a job now. You could actually just take the loan. Eli, I don't do business with morally bankrupt companies. You work for Marshall. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas, not debates on morality. All right, all right. Man, this is really fucking good, Kev. Thanks. I was worried I added too much pepper. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. No, seriously, this is perfect. The only way this could be better is if you put on a fucking shirt. Dinner and a show, baby. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Brunch is eaten, washing up's done. Let's go rob a payday loan place. And you know how we should celebrate afterwards. Karaoke! Yes! So, Nina, are we taking your project car? Fuck no, I'm not risking my baby over rent. We're boosting cars from down the street. Ooh! Can we take a hybrid? Eli. I love that you're worried about fuel efficiency, but I'm thinking acceleration will matter more. Your carbon footprint always matters. Just take that yellow one. Kev, you cased the place. What are we looking at? One guard out front and the owner at the till. He's a real scuzzbag. I want some kick a dog. So, you know, fuck that guy. There. Let's get psyched. Only you oh, can decide no. how you Not react to adversity. Hey, Only you the can rule. choose to Don't adapt to the changes young. that life throws your way. You have more agency and power than the world wants you to know. You need to be your own boss. 
of your job, of your happiness, of your... Be your own boss! That's right! Be your own boss! One of these days, I'm going to get you to listen to music in the car. Roger McGillicuddy speaks the music of my soul. You are a different kind of cat, Eli. What can I say? The world is full of uninteresting people, and I'm not going to be one of them. You got one of those for me? You really want one after last time? I am not the first person to accidentally shoot a friend by dropping a loaded... Yeah, okay, I don't need a gun. Good call. Showtime. So I made them watch while I broke their dad's... Ah, oh, shit. Walk away, or the phrase dead-end job gets literal. I don't have much- We don't want your money, just his. Get out of here. You done fucked up. I've been getting that a lot lately. Where's the safe? If you're lucky, the cops will get to you before my people go. <laughs> nice left. Been practicing. I can tell. Safe's back here. This guy had his password be a bunch of fives. Pick it up, Eli. I'm just saying, he could have at least made his work for it. Same plan as last time. Eli, Kev, pretend traffic laws matter and get the money home. Nina and I will split up and give the cops the runaround. Cool, let me get the McGillic. No! Oh. Try to keep up this time. Yeah, yeah. See you at the switch. Time to run before the fuzz show up. Life is full of adversity and challenges. But oh, fuck no. I'm monitoring the police scanner. They just responded to the call. Cops are now en route to the PD police. It sounds like they're out in force. Bollocks! Bad time for a train. Shit! Guys, I got cops on my ass. Nina, don't wait for me. I gotta lose these guys. Try sideswiping them. It always works for me. Just let them get alongside you, and then bam! Send them into a ditch. Try to hit their whole side, not just the bumper. Dumb and dusty. Ha! That took care of them. How's everyone else? Eli and I made it home with the money. You ready for karaoke? Start warming up those voices. Nina, where you at? Just changed cars and headed home. Good. Headed to my switch car now. It was safe and sound at the junkyard a minute ago. That's pretty deep in Pantero's territory. Did you tell your gang you did that? Are you kidding me? If Sergio knew we were running a job on his turf, he would have taken a 90% cut. 90%? Good God. The man's either a monster or a capitalist genius. What did you assholes do to my getaway car? Ain't your car if it's on our turf. Now you're gonna pay for parking. I needed that fucking car! <laughs> Los Pantera scrapped my switch car. Hey, what? Bigger problem. The police picked up that firefight at the junkyard. They're heading your way. Grab a bike and head off-road. I'll pick you up in the desert. Damn. Sounds like no karaoke tonight. Every fucking time, man. I'm 
on my way. There's a trail that goes between the mesas. I'll meet you on the other side. Understood. Do I want to know what happened to the Panteros who stripped your car? Sorry, Dina. Self-defense. Fuck, I didn't want that to happen. Let's hope Sergio never finds out it was us. You free and clear yet? Not at all. I've got cops up the arse. I'll pick you up on the other side of the bridge. You said you didn't want to risk your car. I said I didn't want to risk it for rent. I'd risk anything for you, dummies. So, is this how it's gonna be every time we have to pay rent? I thought that went great. Yeah, okay. Maybe I can go back to running my old side hustles for extra cash. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. This town is full of opportunities, if you know where to look. Hey, glad you made it home safe. We have to get better at this rent thing or we'll never get to do karaoke again. Also, we'll get evicted. Nina said you might go back to some of your old side hustles. I have some friends who might need work done in your area of expertise. When you say friends, do you mean friends friends or special friends? All my friends are special. I'll put their info on your map. I think you'll really like them. I like them fine as long as their money's good. Thanks, Kev. Newbie, I've assigned you a driver for your next job. Meet us at the rendezvous. I'll be right there. Where is everyone? I didn't need everyone. Just you. Because I'm the only one who could get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Panteros? I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. I don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, per the roommate code, I'm going to have to fold to laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. What are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. The Nawali was waiting to sync up with them before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I hadn't stalled him, he would have got away. So, you're welcome. Do you want it to look like an accident or a statement? What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear. No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. So we know where they're going. Sure. And then I kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No. Then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. Hey there. Name's JR. We about to see some action? No. Orders are to follow the convoy, observe its activity, and report back. Seriously? 
cowboys right there. You know, I heard about you. I'm a little bit of a maverick myself. Two crazy badasses like us, we're not gonna mix it up? No. My mates are counting on me to get my performance bonus. I can't afford to mess up. We won't engage. Just observe and report. Looks like them motorcycles are falling back. Probably just drop something. You gonna just let them shoot at us? Gwen was very clear on not engaging. If we don't do something, all we're gonna observe and report is getting dead. Oh, right. Just this once. <laughs> That's how I like to ride. All right, back on track. From now on, observe and report. Aga, they have a turret. Can't take this kind of fire forever. Our orders are to follow them. No can do, unless you want to take that thing out. I... lost it. Getting closer. Wait, what are you doing? Taking out the turret. From the roof? No, from the lorry. Get me closer. You're out of your goddamn mind. I thought you said you were a maverick. A little bit. I said a little bit. Oh. Heads up! You got more incoming! Oh, come on! I was nearly finished! As long as I'm here. Toby, why am I seeing gunfire at the back of that convoy? When? Well, there were motorcycles in there, turret, and one thing led to another. Well, that was you don't sound angry. Did you honestly think I would send one car after a convoy that size? You're just a distraction. We got a drone following these motherfuckers. Wait, you used me as bait? That's the job you were born for. Mission accomplished. Now finish what you're doing and get out of there. They are. Pick me up. I can't get close. That truck's on fire. Shit. Bloody car's on fire. Ugh! One's burning too. Reload! Reload! Ah. I thought I ordered you to retreat. Honest to God, I am trying. Well, as distractions go, you're exceeding expectations. Great. Right. Mind putting that in my performance review? Let's follow orders and fall back. Compensating for something? Don't count him out. It'll take more than a car wreck to kill that some bitch. All right, time to finally get the fuck out of. What is that? Sandstorm. We're going in. Come in, newbie. When? We hear you. We're falling back. Negative. The drone is down. I need. Need eyes on that convoy. I'm giving you field command. Fuck, really? Do what you gotta do. Follow the lead truck until it stops. Then radio. JR, get after them. The kick gloves are off. The kick gloves were on? Oh. Oh. That's a bad You can hardly see them. Ah. I think I see the main convoy ahead. 
Uh, we got a problem here. Be specific. Sand's clogging up my intake. We're losing speed. Great. Just get me into leapfrog range, then fall back. That's suicide. I've gotten us this far, haven't I? I don't want to be a maverick no more. You're about to get stomped. Get turrets. Shoot you in the fucking face! Oh, oh this performance bonus had better be huge. Where's my rear guard? Exceeding expectations! Glenn said to do what I need. I got this. End of the line, you manky git. Who won't leave this desert alive? Get for smuggling antiquity. Hey Gwen, I follow the convoy. It, uh, it stopped. <clears throat> you did good. Holy shit, a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Stay here. Over here. Now! Gwen says you were responsible for retrieving the Hummingbird Codex. If that was something in the truck, then yes. Impressive work. I wouldn't have been able to do it without JR, sir. Team player. I like that. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Dr. Antonio Espina. He's the chief curator for the Museum of Santo Aliso. It's nice to meet you, sir. The retrieval of these relics is no small feat. The museum is in Marshall's debt. Just doing my job, sir. Antonio's museum has a contract with Marshall, and he requested you to be in charge of security. What? Gwen's filled me in on your eccentricities, but the results speak for themselves. Sir, it's my second day. Sounds like someone wants to talk themselves out of a promotion. No, no, I want the job. I'm just surprised. Things change fast here at Marshall. So, can Antonio and I count on you or not? Yes, sir. 